Mark here. He's going to show me through uh, Takamini first. Yep. So, what do we got? Uh, at this show, we're launching a few new Takamini models. This is part of our new Pro Series range. This, this is, is the, the Japanese handmade Japanese stuff. Japanese handcrafted stuff. Yeah. Um, this is the 4 Series guitar. And this one features a Sapelli solid back, laminated Sapelli side, solid spruce top, all gloss finish, ivory binding on the body, back yeah. and the neck. Um, wooden dot and dot inlays and the CT4B. These are sitting around about the sort of 1500 mark, aren't they? The um, series, I no, no less they're sitting that? less than that. Okay. These are sitting at 105.9 okay. is the price point for that, so considerably awesome. cheaper than you thought. So no, it must was. be good. Yeah, that is good. That is good. That's cool. Um, okay, so what else have we got in the sort of the, the Pro Series? We're on this way. Yeah. Now this is uh, the 5 series, logically the next yeah. step up from the 4. And that's in the classic kind of Takamini NEX shape. This is shape, the NEX shape which is named after the Narita Express which is a train system in I Japan. I never knew that. And it's that shape is it? It's the most the unusual train. train. <laughs> it's the train is that shape. <laughs> it's um, not very practical to actually get you anywhere but it looked nice. Yeah you can't get very far. <laughs> So this guitar has got a solid rosewood back, nice. rosewood sides, spruce top. Solid ro rosewood always looks pretty, doesn't it, if you it's get that in the light? Guitar. Yeah. Hmm. See Rabir's reflection aspect. Yeah, probably. So around about the 12.50 mark, we like that. And this has got um, abalone dot in dot inlays, Yeah. It's very cool. Oh, dot in dot? Yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah, it's a dot inside a dot, <laughs> laid into the fingerboard. <laughs> wow. So it's pretty cool, pretty unique. Yeah, that's pretty, isn't it? Uh, we also have in this guitar the 54 dx A deluxe version. Preamp, oh, wow. Which is a dual channel preamp. Um, when you use it with one source, like the Palisade, so you've, got two, pickup, you've got two pickups in here. Yeah, you've got a four band EQ. Yeah. Um, and you've got two notch fillers. Yeah. If you use a sound hole pickup or a mic or you know a transducer, you can then use it as a twin channel. So, oh, so there's it's not two pickups built in. Not two built in. So there's one built in, and then you could add an external. If you add an external, it becomes two. Where'd you plug that in? Just up there. That's a clever idea. I always like yep. to see a little bit of new. So, well, no, where do you plug the second thing in? Oh, sorry, just inside uh, in the sound hole. Oh, yeah. There's like a socket up in there. Cool. Is that on all the 5 series? That's on all the 5 series and okay. the 6 series. We'll have the CT4 awesome. DX pre -amp. Cool. The 6 series, sadly, is not here. That's sure. okay. But it's a maple uh, back and sides guitar, right. spruce top, sunburst finish. Very traditional Takamini yeah. styling. Yeah. Um, and the 7 series is the pinnacle in the uh, line. We've had enough snow this week. So yeah. we, well, we've got snowdrop inlays. Yep. Abalone snow crystals in the fingerboard. <laughs> uh, we've got a solid rosewood back and side on this model. Yeah. And this has got maple binding it's with, pretty, with the redwood purfling, which yeah. is um, on quite a lot of the new models. Yeah, very nice. Someone's Somebody's dinged, that, dinged it, uh, haven't they? Uh, it's hard up in a show. Some people got no lasts. respect, have they? And this one's got the uh, cool tube preamp, which is oh, okay. probably what most people associate Takamini with. Uh, yeah. the preamp. It's a cool tube preamp. So that's the very pinnacle Ooh. of the range. 2,200 sort of money. So if you fancy some top end Japanese uh, stuff, then. But what's that, 7 series, you say? 7 series. Seven series. So cool. these, these are and the, the idea with all these kind of series is essentially there's two or three shapes, aren't there, within every series. So yeah. if you're a Dreadnought fan or an NEX fan or you like something a bit smaller. Anyway, check out the Anderson's website. There's more information there. Um, We've chosen the body shapes that suit the wood. So yeah. the, the range that's available suits the wood um, combination. Cool. Where's next then? The limited edition. Every year Takamini does a limited edition. Uh, and this is this not is the Scott of the Antarctic it edition. Is. Well, last year was the 50th anniversary, and this is the 51st, obviously. <laughs> um, and this symbolises our climb towards a new pinnacle. Ah. <laughs> So this isn't symbolising a man that said, I'm going out, I might be some time, and never came back. It could be. It could be. Depends. <laughs> Everything's up to interpretation. Oh, and here he is again. He did make yep. it back. Look, he's on this one as well. Okay. There we are.